My name is Mark Smith from Esri Australia and I'm going to take you through the process of installing and registering ArcGIS Desktop 10. The installation of ArcGIS Desktop should run automatically when you insert the installation disks into your computer. If not, you will need to run the esri.exe execution file that is stored on the disks. This will open up the screen that you see here. Prior to installing the software, it's probably a good idea to have a look at the quick start guide. You can have a look at this by clicking on the readme button indicated here. This has all the information you'll need to step you through the process of installing the software, along with some things like the system requirements. Prior to installing ArcGIS 10, we need to make sure that we have uninstalled any existing ArcGIS software. An application has been provided to help find what existing ArcGIS software exists on your computer and to uninstall them to prepare you for the installation process. Upon running the Detect Conflict application, we can see that we have various ArcGIS software installed onto this installation. We can then go through and select these items and uninstall them automatically. In addition to this, you need to make sure that you've got any third-party products uninstalled from your machine prior to installing the software. These include things like Xtools, the ECW plugin, and ETGO Wizards, along with any applications that you may have developed yourself. You can reinstall these if necessary once you have installed ArcGIS Desktop. Now you should be ready to start installing the 